There was no bigger breakout star from the 2023 World Championships than Ahmed Tajudinov. He goes 20-0 over his first two opponents, including 2016 Olympic bronze medalist from Uzbekistan. Then he beats Kyle Snyder 11-0. And it's like, okay, yeah, but he's got the GOAT next. Abdur Rashid Sadjalaya. The guy he transferred because of. And then he scores the first six points on Sajlaev. And it's like, who the f is that guy? Sajlaev does get a takedown, but eventually he just quits. Now Sajlaev didn't wrestle back and it's not clear exactly the extent of his injury. But what is clear is that Tazudinov was the better wrestler that day. Then he caps off his tournament with the cherry on top, a pin in the finals over Mega Madoff, another Russian transfer to complete his world championship run at 20 years old. So who the f is that guy? Who is this 20 year old Bahrainian dude that just took the world by storm? Hint, he's not actually Bahrainian. Uh, I've been training in Dagestan where I'm from. He was born, grew up, and currently lives and trains in Dagestan, Russia, where a high percentage of the world's best wrestlers come from. Be more specific, he was born in the Gurjabilsky district in Dagestan. So why did he represent Bahrain at the World Championships? Well, when one of the greatest wrestlers of all time represents your country, Russia, at your weight class, 97 kilograms, you kinda gotta look elsewhere if you wanna improve your chances of wrestling at the World Championships. But why does he represent a small island country off of the coast of Saudi Arabia in the Persian Gulf? I got no idea, to be honest with you. I don't know what the connection is there. A big thank you to Bahrain that they gave me this opportunity to compete for them. And they've been supporting me and helping me to get here and win this competition. I do know that in 2019, as a teenager, he decided he needed to make the move to Mahakchala to get better at wrestling. Mahakchala is Dagestan's biggest city. And coincidentally, he also moved in to the Abdul Rashid Sajalayev School of Wrestling. Yes. That's right, Ahmed Tajudinov currently trains at the school of wrestling that is named after the guy he just beat at the World Championships. That is what makes this story come completely full circle. Tajudinov grew up idolizing Abdur Rashid Sajalayev, and not just idolizing. While Sajalayev does not train at his school of wrestling 100% of the time, he does train there sometimes, Completely insane. But back to Tazudina. One year after making the move to Mahakchala, he wins the U17 Dagestan Regional Championships at 80 kilograms. This sets him up to make a run to try and represent Russia at the U17 World Championships. However, if you remember, in 2020, this thing called COVID-19 completely flipped the world upside down and there were no age level world championships. Tazudinov continues to wrestle throughout the next couple years. However, it's the summer of 2022 where he has kind of a breakout summer. He wins the Dagestan Senior Regional Championships, this time up at 97. But remember, this is 2022 and Russia is not allowed to compete at the World Championships due to their sanctions. Not that he even would have made the team, but there was no team to make in 2022. He did remain active by competing in the PWL, Russia's professional wrestling league. This is when Tajudinov realizes he is a threat to medal at the world championships, but you can't win a world medal if you aren't on a team. And remember, Sajulayev is still looming, waiting to represent Russia when they get the chance to compete at the world championships again. This is when Tajudinov makes the decision to transfer to Bahrain. So in November of 2022, Tajudinov makes his Bahrainian debut in a tournament out in Kazakhstan where there's not a whole lot of good international guys at his weight. Then he goes and wins the Arab Championships. But again, nobody really good at his weight. So at his first big boy international wrestling tournament in Egypt in 2022, a ranking series event, he loses to another Russian transfer, 
Vladislav Batsiev, six to four in the early rounds and then doesn't get pulled back into repechage, ultimately falls to seventh place. This keeps him completely under the radar for Americans. Now, he did bounce back and win the Asian Championships in the Kyrgyzstan Ranking Series of Tournament. And in the process, he beat Golej, who is Iran's rep this year at the World Championships. But still, it's like, okay, he has a good tournament or two. He's a good guy, but he's still another Russian transfer, a Russian teenage transfer who's not probably gonna do anything at the World Championships. He transferred because he can't beat Sajulayev. In fact, this summer, he was supposed to wrestle Sajulayev at the Commonwealth Cup. He made his way through the bracket and then he didn't show up to the final. He injury defaulted out of the final where he was supposed to wrestle Sajulayev. I don't tell you all of this stuff to show off or say that I saw this coming. Nobody saw this coming. And remember all that stuff I said about how he won Asian Championships and how he won Dagestan Senior Regional Championships? That goes to show you that this was not a one-time thing. This was not a hot streak run. Ahmed Tajudinov is gonna stick around. And Russia's status is still a little bit in limbo for the Olympics next year. Bahrain's status is not. Ahmed Tajudinov, remember that name.